Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you something I got the idea for. So if you don't know recently, at the Spa 24 hour, something really cool happened. Not the Spa 24 itself, which I mean, it's cool. It's a fantastic spectacle to race around Spa Francorchamps for 24 hours. Uh, James Baldwin was there, I guess, too. So pretty cool for sim racing. But no, the thing I'm interested in is the SRO 30th anniversary race. There were two well, little one-off, of course, non-championship races with some early 2000s GT cars, and I thought it would be super cool to represent and remake here in Assetto Corsa. So for my part in the race, I'll be driving this absolute beautiful piece of machinery. This is the Maserati MC12 GT1 car, but we'll also be using GT2 cars as well as GTN cars, and I'll do my best to explain to you what those are without also 100% knowing myself. The 2000s was a really weird time for FIA GT racing and very complicated, at least in my books. But we'll be doing an 18 lap race around the brand new Spa Francorchamps. We also have a field full of RSS's amazing paid cars, their GT pack and their GTN pack. So yeah, enough talking and without further ado, let's just hop right into this. Alrighty ladies and gents, here we are at Spa. Of course you wouldn't do a standing start in real life, but that's all we got here in AC. I put all the Maseratis in the back as well. We are a little bit faster, but we're actually not a ton faster, so we still do have a nice little fight up the field. Okay, that was a code brown. And the AI have botched turn one. All right, yep, that's how that works. All right, well, <laughs> foot to the floor, let's go now. Sorry about that, I guess. A set of course of AI or being a set of course of AI. What's new? Up Eau Rouge for the first time. We are quite a bit faster than the GT2 and GTN cars in the field today. Uh, and I will do my best to tell you what those actually are. Uh, but man, is it confusing, trust me. But we do have the straight line disadvantage to them. So we really do need the high speed stuff to make our way past. So also in the real life SRO 30th anniversary race, there were early 2010s GT3 cars, but you know what GT3s are. I don't need to tell those to you, all right? Got absolutely brake checked there by the AI. And we got sent on by this Dodge Viper as well. And there's someone else spinning. Oh my God, there's two spinning. Jesus, it's all gone wrong. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, you know what GT3 cars are. I don't need to explain those to you. The early 2010s ones, I guess they're cool. They just look like older model years. All right, through Blanchemont now. All right, that's track limits. We don't care. Really long gear ratios actually in this Maserati in the high gears. But send it in the bus stop. Keep our line. Really squeeze him. Try to get a good run on the exit. Use our TC to our advantage, which the GT2 cars actually don't have. And we get the move done. Then come over here to block. Give him the inside. Break late enough. Oh, he's going to have a look anyway. Ah, no, nah, he can't. Close the door. Beautiful move. So while we have a GTN car in front of me, let's talk about what they actually are. Now, this is my interpretation of what they are. I could be 100% wrong. Uh, and it's actually really confusing. So, GT2 cars, the ones that we're racing right now, are, in a roundabout way, modern-day GT3 cars. The GTN cars are the, you know, there's a new GT2 class starting up. Uh, they're the roundabout equivalents of current GT2 cars. So, GT2 turned into GT3, GTN today turned into gt3 but or gt so for those in the back or if that made no sense to you gt2 cars turned into gt3s gtn cars died but in a roundabout way are very you know equivalent to today's gt2 cars it's very confusing gt racing history to those of you who know it uh my respect 
<laughs> I do not understand it, but that's the kind of comparisons I made. Someone who most definitely knows more than me in the comments, I'm sure will correct me. So, hey, I'll leave a pinned comment if there's a, if there's a good one. Yeah, battling now with this Porsche GTN car. Trying my, my hardest to get a run. Uh, just tucking the slipstream. Okay, we do have a little bit of a straight line speed advantage. He's really squeezing me to the grass, but oh, are we actually about to go around the outside? All right, you know what? We're gonna treat this like we're actually driving some very rare historic machinery. Almost die through Blanchemont. Let's try to get past, I'll flash him. So he knows I'm here. The AI definitely don't give a shit, though. <laughs> they can't react to it. Late on the brakes. A little bit of a lockup, but it's all right. And boom, beautiful. So let's talk about what all the cars are. Let's go over all the specs of them. So the car I'm in right now, the Maserati MC12 GT1 car, has 580 brake horsepower, 650 newton meters of torque, and it weighs 1,100 kilograms. As far as I know, minus touring cars, these are some of the fastest GT cars. They're almost like prototypes in a way, and they drive kind of like prototypes. They kind of drive like faster LMP3 cars. Now, that probably makes no sense, but LMP3 kind of is like a mix between GT and prototype. This is kind of just like a, a faster version of it. All right, here we go. Around the outside. Use the downforce. It's going to turn into the inside. Come on. Get the power down with the TC. There we go. Beautiful. I don't think he's going to try anything. Just to be sure. Close it off. There we go. Nicely done, if I do say so myself. So now for the GT2 cars. 600 to 660 brake horsepower. 7 to 800 newton meters of torque. And they all weigh between 11 and and 1200 kilograms you can see why now they're very reminiscent of gt3s as that's pretty damn close to what gt3 specs actually are they maybe have a little bit more power uh but yeah in terms of torque and weight and everything not too far off and now for the weird class gtn so they have 450 brake horsepower 410 newton meters of torque and they all weigh 1,200 kilograms. The only two cars we have are going around the track today is the Porsche and the Ferrari. All right, let's see. Do a typical spa 24-hour move here. Come on. Come on. All right, we're hanging with him. And boom, there we go. Nicely done. No contact made. That's how you like to see it. So this race, as you can see at the top, is 18 laps. Uh, should be around 45-ish minutes, so it is kind of a, a little bit of like a mini endurance race, so we can get our heads stuck in here. If you look at the track map, you can see that we are, we have a big gap actually to the leading group of cars, but, uh, you know, we're starting to get towards the front. We are P14 right now. Alright, he's clearly blocking inside. Alright, nope, the AI just have very weird lines. He's gonna leave me the room, use the TC, stomp on the power, try to get around him, beautiful. That's just that, that TC compared to what they have, and obviously a bit more power. So the real life 30th anniversary race, two of these cars that I'm in right now won both of them. There were two of them. I think they were like an hour and 40-ish minutes long. I was kind of just looking at the really cool early 2000s GT cars driving by, I'll be honest. I wasn't really looking at the timer, but yeah, just such a cool race. I wish other series did stuff like this. Man, can you imagine if Formula One did like a classic race? Costs way too much money. Would never happen. Ferrari would probably vote against it and shut the whole thing down. But man, would that be so cool? To see a bunch of classic F1 cars drive around like this. But at least we got it for GTs. And uh, if there's if there's any motorsports series watching this, you know, like the FIA, if you're watching this video, do more of this. <laughs> the, the MC12s, it, it's, its weakness is definitely the straight line speed and abusing track limits. But that's not really the car's fault. That's more of a driver thing. Come on. I'm trying. All right, yep, you got to give me the room now, bud. A little bit of contact there, but it's all right. On the power. He's, of course, going to win the drag race, but let's try something. <laughs> it is just no contest. Oh, my lord. And now we got the Viper on the inside. 
And he's gonna make the move work because he's got the straight line speed. No. All right, come on, Viper, okay. All right, really kind of just pushed me up the track there. <laughs> well, now this is letting the Ferrari get away. And now the Dodge Viper <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> All right, come on, man. We gotta go. Oh man, he just really runs. Me. All right, don't don't take the Astro Turf there. Uh, note to self. All right, come on. Really bold send. Into the bus stop. Bit the power down. Come on. Come on. Just come on. Come on, little Maserati. Move into the hairpin. Down the inside. On the power. Floor it. Oh, we can't squeeze him. <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh, man. This, <laughs> this Ferrari is a wide car, let me tell you. Come on. All right. Through the corner. There we go. Come on. Has to be, right? Come on, just squeeze him out. There we go. Thank God, finally. <laughs> now, please just drive like hell. All right, well, halfway through. What? I mean, it's been a race so far, let me tell you, but come on, we can do better. I don't think we're winning it, though. <laughs> I think that's safe to say. All right, here we go. Come on. <laughs> We got the Lister Storm here. All right, on the Lister, around the outside, or the inside, good. The, uh, the GTN Ferrari really, <laughs> really helped us out there. I'll give him the assist. And that is really wide. Okay, come on. Oh, man, no. Please tell me it's the... God damn it, it's the Lister. I was hoping it was going to be the Ferrari. Oh, my God. Okay, well, that worked, kind of, sort of. Oh, it's going to be a drag race. I'm not backing out. All right. Yeah, he's kind of got it. No! God damn it. I got way too aggressive. God damn it. No! Oh, man. Mm, I, I sense it. I, <laughs> I shouldn't have, but I did. It's fine. You know what? We did it once. We could do it again, right? God, the for GTN Ferrari is slow out of there, let me tell ya. But look on the map, look at how much time we lost, oh my lord. Well, <laughs> back to just driving. One eternity later. Alright, finally, back up here <laughs> with the Lister. Let's not, let's not do the same mistake again. We'll, uh, we'll let him have this quarter this time. We we're too far back anyway, and that's track limits. Yeah, this was iRacing. It's a 1X. It's fine. <laughs> All right, here we go. Come on, side by side, into the bus stop. Later on the brakes. I found this is the best way to get by here. Just kind of give him the room. Okay, well, not when the, the tail steps out. God damn it. <laughs> All right, come on. There we go. Through Eau Rouge. Come on, down the Kimmel Straight. Use some side draft on him. It's a drag race. Of course it is. <laughs> I think we're gonna get him though. Hopefully we will on the brakes. Little little bit of a little downshift too early there, but it's fine. But beautifully done. This whole pack is kind of closed up, so maybe in these last few laps we might get a little bit more action. But here's here is the famous Ferrari. <laughs> Either this is a car with the same skin. Or this is actually the Ferrari that I was stuck behind for a long time, to say the least. All right, come on. We know he's got the straight line advantage. Maybe. Oh, we'll give him a look. Okay. All right. You know what? He's inviting us. I'll I'll take the long way around. Just give me the room. Okay. You know what? Respectful battle. I'll take it. This 575 is an absolute brick Italian wall. Let me tell you. Come on, man. There's just no way to overtake out of there. And through here... Okay, he broke actually quite early. Earlier than usual, I almost feel like. It kind of invited me up the inside. Well, I'll take it. There we go. <laughs> up a place. I'll take it up to P11. Come on, man. I at least want a top 10. I think that's the goal. Just to pass this one guy in front of us. I don't know what car it is. It's a Viper, it looks like. All right, well, final lap. The pack is all kind of bunched together, so I guess if there's any time we're going to do it, it's going to be now. 
there's a chance for a for a top ten here for a bus stop send. Oh, maybe maybe around the outside. All right, yep, he's <laughs> through a block there. Let me tell ya. Come on, come on. We just gotta wait for him to go through there. It sucks so much. Oh, oh my. <laughs> This GTN car! And then another assist! Come on! No move! <laughs> Literally going on the grass! <laughs> P9, baby! Or maybe only P10, I don't know. Alright, track limits, it's fine. Who needs race direction? Come on! On the brakes, on the Lister! Casual little neutral there. It's alright, come on! On the power! Ah, oh, it's gonna be a race to the line. I'll take 10th. That was the goal. I guess I was in 11th. What a fun race, man. What a fun race. I highly recommend you guys try this out. It is so, so fun. These cars are absolutely fantastic. Of course, RSS, they always hit it out of the park. I'll leave the links below to both the GT and the GTN pack. The Maserati GT1 is Kunos content, so nothing stopping you from trying it out. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, a like and a sub would mean a lot. What a fun, fun race.